Hey everyone, it's Fresmosic here. Now in today's Mac tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a picture talking effect in Adobe After Effects. Now you may have seen it in some TV programs or some internet videos where you have a still image of someone's face and they've done a little effect in post-production to make it look like their mouse opening and closing. So uh, here we are in After Effects. What you're going to need to do this effect is a sound clip, specifically a WAV. I'm going to use the uh, I'm a fire in my laser sound effect. I've got this picture of my scary face right here and uh, then there's composition. So first of all we want to drag our picture in right there, that's that's my scary face. Now um, to do this effect what we're going to, need to do first of all is duplicate the layer and what we're going to do is we're going to do something called masking which is basically drawing a shape onto the uh, the image and uh, only the um, only the matter that's inside that mask will show. So what we're going to do, make sure um, you've got the top layer selected we're going to use the pen tool right up here, or you can click G on your keyboard. And what we're going to do is we are going to zoom in to my mouth right here, and we are going to draw a mask around my mouth, just like this. Okay, so once you've drawn the mouth, that is step one of what we need to do. Now what we need to do now is we need to go down uh, into our um, item properties, into masks, as you can see there's mask one there, what you want to do is copy it, command C or control C, and select the bottom layer, and control V, or command V. Now you might notice that oh, that's just going to do the same thing for both layers. What we need to do is we need to go into um, that mask on the bottom layer, and set the mode to subtract, and that will preserve everything that's outside of the mask. So what will, do, what will happen here is, if we switch the top layer off, you'll see this, and if we switch the bottom layer off, you'll just see this. So we've kind of separated um, the two layers according to what is what we want to be in each one. So now what we need to do is we need to bring in our sound clip. Now, uh, as I said, I'm using the armor fire and my laser sound clip because, you know, it's an easy thing to use. Um, what we need to do is we need to uh, go down to the audio properties, show the waveform as we can see there. This is uh, how the noise plays out. I'm a fire in my laser! <laughs> I'm sure you recognize that. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to right click on the clip, go to Keyframe Assistant, and then click Convert Audio to Keyframes. And what that'll do, that'll create an audio amplitude solid up here. In effects, there'll be um, all these keyframes down here, um, which are changed um, in their values according to how loud or soft the audio is. So this is, this is this so this not really a solid, but it's a null object. It doesn't really serve any purpose other than this. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to going to need to go to the uh, the mouth layer, the top layer which we want to move, drop down the menu, we're going to transform and the position right here, if we hold down alt and then click on the stopwatch you can see uh, these options come up here with a uh, expression position, what we want to do is select the pick whip right here, click on it and then drag it over uh, until it highlights slider and then let go and it will bring up this um, this expression right here uh, and we can change this expression according to how we want the um, the mouth to move according to the audio. So if I just set it so that we can only see the position. Right here is the expression. What we're going to need to do to make this move is we are going to need to change this expression a little bit. Now first of all, because um, I've already tested this out and this is my second time doing it, I know what, what value I want to put in here. The first thing you want to put in is after the slider, quotation mark, brackets, space, asterisk and then a certain value. I'm going to put in 3 because that's what I know um, that's the uh, magnitude of the uh, mouse movements that I want. Just a quick note to put in is that you can increase or decrease the value that you type in to change the magnitude of the mouth movements that you might want. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Then if we go down to these uh, two TEMPs in brackets, we're going to need to replace the first one with position open square bracket 0, close square bracket then for the second one, what we're going to need to replace it with is again, position, open square bracket 1, and then space plus temp. Now once we've changed that, um, that's, that's, that should be it. The, uh, the mouse should move uh, according to how the audio plays out. So um, I'm going to fit this back in to the frame and let's test it out. I'm a fire in my laser! <laughs> And there we go. That is the mouth movement. Shut up. That is the mouth movement effect in Adobe After Effects. Thank you very much for watching this Mac tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more awesome content coming your way each and every week. And until my next video.
Goodbye.